The investigation swirling around that Alec Baldwin movie set is getting even closer to the end. You might remember the deadly shooting as the movie Rust was being filmed. The Santa Fe Sheriff's Office has now received forensic reports from the FBI. Those reports include firearms and ballistic analysis. Investigators also say they're finalizing their review of latent fingerprints and DNA evidence. Now they say they need to work with New York authorities to review Baldwin's phone records. Once that process is complete, the case will go to the district attorney for a charging decision. Cinematographer Helena Hutchins was shot on the set last October when a gun held by Baldwin went off as they were rehearsing a scene. We all know the labor market is really tight right now, but Walgreens is really going all out to try to hire more pharmacists. There are a few reports the drugstore is now offering a $75,000 signing bonus as it struggles to fill some of those positions. That offer comes with a requirement, though, for new hires to stick around for a period of time, typically one year or longer. The Labor Department says pharmacists earned an average salary of more than $128,000 last year. In a statement today, Walgreens would only say it is leaning on bonuses to try to ease some of those staffing shortages. We'll talk about champagne wishes and caviar dreams. Listen to this. This luxury airline is now spending $2 billion to become even more luxurious. Emirates Airlines planning to upgrade and retrofit more than 100 planes with updated seats, new paneling, and new flooring as well. Plus, the Middle East carrier will revamp its menu. That menu is going to include unlimited caviar, and Dom Perignon in its first class cabins. It's also going to offer a new vegan menu as well and something called a cinema in the sky experience. So if you've spent some time in Canada, you may have noticed some of their snacks are different north of the border. Well, now you can get a taste of these Dorito flavors for the very first time. We're talking about chips that taste like ketchup and mustard. They're not going to be identical to the Canadian version. So, for example, the mustard flavor, that's inspired by Chinese hot mustard. Before you get too excited here, we should point out the new flavors are only available on the Frito-Lay website. So you have to order them online and they're only available for a limited time only.